Hello, my friends. This is Mr. N again, your librarian. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe and healthy. I've got a great story right here from Peter Reynolds. I think this is something for us all to remember as we're at home. And just so you know, we will be back together before you know it. This is called Say Something by Peter Reynolds. The world needs your voice. Yes, yours. Go ahead. It doesn't need to be perfect. As long as it's from your heart. You don't have to be loud. Powerful words can be a whisper. You can say something in so many ways with words, with action, with creativity. If you see someone lonely, say something by just being there for them. If you see an empty canvas, Say something with your brush. If you see an empty lot, say something by planting a seed and watching it bloom. If you see someone being hurt, say something by being brave. If you see something beautiful, say something with a poem. If you have a brilliant idea, say something with confidence. If you want to show the world who you are, say something with style. If you are angry, say something to help people understand. If you see an injustice, say something peacefully. Inspire others to do the same. Sometimes you'll say something and no one will be listening. But keep saying what is in your heart and you will find someone who listens. Keep saying it, and you'll be surprised to find the whole world listening. If you are grateful for being alive, quietly say something to the stars, to the universe. Some people find it easier to say something than others, but everyone has something to say. When you're ready, say something. And that's the end, my friends. So when you do have something to say, say it. Say it in your own way. You'll be surprised who's there to listen. Take care, stay healthy, and stay safe.